morning guys um i've come upstairs this morning to find that layla had helped herself to coloring and she's laid out all of her peter rabbit books on the sofa so there's that she's been having fun this morning she woke up a little bit early today so she obviously came upstairs and had a bit of fun but she's busy getting ready for nursery downstairs with perry and just as i had expected oh thank you Great, great, no one oh, to see you. Thank you, honey. And just as I had expected and said yesterday, all schools are closing this week. It was announced last night um, by by the government that um, all schools and nurseries are going to close from Friday. So today's Layla's last day at preschool for the foreseeable future. Read the book. I will read the book in a second, honey. But you know, today's going to be your last day at preschool. Preschool's closing because lots of people are getting sick. So they're closing the preschool to stop people getting sick. Are you going to miss preschool? Yeah? Did, 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 did. After today, yeah, today's your last day at preschool, and then the preschool's going to be closing. Yeah? You can say goodbye to your teachers today. No, you don't want to say goodbye. You want to see them again. Do you want to go back to preschool? Yeah, well, hopefully once this is all over, we can, you can go back to preschool. So Layla is off at preschool for her last day, for goodness knows how long. No idea how long this is going to last. Oh, anyway, it feels pretty crazy. Got my morning coffee, which actually tastes pretty good, but I kind of failed at the milk. I, there's no foam, but it's fine. I've almost finished that colour work, um, that other colour work sample. So very close to the end of the colour work section. Still have a little bit more knitting to do on that afterwards, but once the colour work's done, then it's pretty mindless. So I'm hoping, well, I say I'm hoping, I'm going to get the colour work section done today. That way I can um, keep it as something that I can knit on whilst Layla's around, because then it's just round and round knitting in one colour. Um, and I might try and get another couple of projects cast on. I want to get the Steaking um, project started and get that video started for you guys. Um, yeah, so I think my plan is to film most of that today if I can and then probably some of it tomorrow and over the weekend and then have it published for you guys next week. Hey guys, I um, thought I'd check in. It's lunchtime and I'm warming up some leftover pasta. In the microwave, Perry's put on a um, crock pot, pot roast thingy for dinner later. And after that's done, I've been busy doing emails and getting some other work done this morning. Um, after all that's done, I think what I'm gonna do is I really wanna organize my fiber, my fiber cabinet. So I'm gonna pull out all the fiber, I'm gonna organize all of that. And then I'm gonna sit down and start recording the first bits for the steaking tutorial which will be coming and um and then yeah see what else i have time for <laughs> probably not much okay so lunch has been eaten and now i am going to get to sorting out my fiber stash and organizing it a little bit better <laughs> I've sorted through all my yarn um, maybe later or tomorrow I'll take you through how my yarn and fiber storage has I say sorted through my sorted through my fiber um, maybe tomorrow I'll take you through how my yarn and fiber storage has changed since the last time I shared about it 
Um, I can't actually remember the last time I shared about it to be honest, but it's changed a fair bit since then. And it's quite funny because earlier I was contemplating purchasing some fibre and then I sorted through all my fibre and now I'm just like, no, 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 I'm, I'm good. I'm good for a while. It's nothing like sorting through your stash to remind you of what you've got and how much of it you have. So um, that's always good. Uh, so yeah, I, it's two o'clock. I have a ton of plans of what I would like to achieve this afternoon. First up, I want to cast on for our steak along. I actually need to post about this on Instagram as well, so I'll do that in a second. I'm going to do one swatch, but half the swatch is just going to be in one colour, just normal plain knitting. And the other half, sorry, it's a fly buzzing around. The other half is going to be in colour work, because I want to show you the two different um, ways that a steak can look when you're knitting, at least from my experience. A colour work steak just visually looks a little bit different than a solid colour steak. So, um, as in like in your actual knitted work, the actual steak works the same. Anyway, I'll explain all that when I do that. Um, I also want to prep some fibre to spin. I haven't actually spun in so long. Um, I can't remember the last time I spun, it's been weeks. So I want to do a quick and easy spin. This is going to be something a little bit on the chunkier side. I really like the colours in this um, braid of Malabrigo Nube. It's in the Arco Iris colourway and I love that colourway in the yarn. So I wanted to do a chunky chunkier spin I might even keep it as a singles and do like a really fluffy hat or something depending on the yardage so I'm gonna prep that fiber for spinning um, and also I would like to at least get started on grading one of the many sweaters that I have planned I have one two three four I think five sweater quantities waiting for me to be knit up so I really want to get one of them get the grading started for one of them so then I can get that on the needles and going soon. I think this is the one I want to start with um, because this is the one, well there's actually a couple of others as well but this is one of the ones where I know what the finished garment is going to look like in my head. So I want to get it started and I know what silhouette I'm going for and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, so those are the three things I want to try and achieve in the next three hours. So let's see how far we get. <laughs> go pick up Layla for the last time for goodness knows how long government talking is gonna go on for at least three months or something like that so we'll have to see it's crazy as I mentioned before they've announced that they're closing all schools and nurseries as of tomorrow today's Layla's last day because she doesn't normally go on Fridays but um, schools and nurseries will actually still be open for the work for like key workers children so people who work at hospitals cleaning people um, I'm assuming the bin men who collect the rubbish every week and people who work like lorry drivers and all the people who need to do their job that can't do their jobs from home they need to go to work to help the countries like run essentially so they haven't announced exactly the list of jobs that are considered um, key workers, but I think they're announcing that today or tomorrow. So the nurseries and schools will still be open to an extent, but they're going to be acting more like a daycare, I guess, just like somewhere for the children to be supervised. And um, yeah, they're going to be run on like a skeleton staff, according to the news. So. I mean, Layla obviously wouldn't count for that because neither Perry nor I would count as a key worker since we work from home anyway. Um, so anyway, 
it will be interesting to see. I have the camera balance on the dashboard, so if it suddenly drops off, that's why, because it's just falling off the car. Um, so yeah. Back home with Layla, and I will, that was like the saddest pickup ever. It was so sad saying goodbye to the teachers and not knowing when we're gonna see them again. It was just, I, I almost cried, almost cried. I had tears in my eyes by the end of it. It was so sad. Anyway, um, trying not to dwell on that too much, <laughs> but um, back home now, Layla wants some food, she's hungry, and we've got pot roast. Uh, what are we gonna have in your, from your for your pot roast? We're gonna have... Potato and carrots. Potato and carrots? Yeah. All right. It's too hot. Yeah, we'll wait for it to cool down, it's okay. Mommy will cut it up for you and it will cool down and it'll be fine. Got a couple of big carrots. Oh, I don't want the... Oh, they're not that big, it's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna get a couple of potatoes. Oh, I see. They're in here. Oh, 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 two potatoes. I know, Mommy's trying to find another one. Oh, no. What? Yeah. What's that? It's a sauce. Did. Mommy will take it out if you don't want it. It's okay. I don't want it. Okay, Lady, we talked about it. You don't need to cry. You need to use your words, remember? Use your Please. words. Oh, okay, that's fine. You don't want sauce. You don't want the juices. That's cool. Oh, that's fine. Put them back in the bowl. Okay. Two potato and two carrots. Is that good? Yes. All right. Bring your pajamas here, please. Beep, beep. <laughs> Can you pick them up and bring them here, please? Beep, beep. <laughs> Are you being silly? Are you being silly? Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. <laughs> Maisie and Otty went to the little toilets. Tallulah reminded them to wash their hands. How do you wash your hands, Layla? Can you show me? Like this. Yeah, good girl. Booked. Okay, so Layla is in bed and asleep. That was fairly painless. I mean, it was painless, it was fine. Um, and yeah, Perry's still on his work call. Hopefully he'll be finished soon and then we'll have some dinner and relax for the evening. Don't know what we're gonna do or what we're gonna watch or we're not gonna do anything because we can't, but, um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna go eat some food. I don't know if I'll spin this evening or knit. 
haven't decided. Oh, actually, I need to edit vlogs, so I'll be doing that probably. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.